At least uh, uh, this session have given me opportunity to meet uh, sir after so many years. So that is a good part for me uh, because I have worked with sir for uh, I believe in 2006, 7, uh, 5, 6, 7. So, so okay, T uh, till that we will just, uh, we'll, so uh, in fact, uh, after working with the Adit Birla group for almost uh, 18 years, I joined Adani uh, in 2000, at the beginning of 2006. And uh, during that period only, uh, we come uh, in contact with the Mukesh sir uh, for our, uh, because since I was heading the shipping and logistics and uh, sir was part of the, our port business. So we being a within group itself, but uh, we were uh, customer for each other. So that, that time only I came uh, with contact uh, to Mukesh sir and uh, he was so uh, helpful always whenever we need any help. So that is a good part. Uh, that is how I started learning that uh, group culture, that even our uh, how to be supportive, keeping our own interests safe and how to be supportive with the our stakeholders. So that was the good part. So uh, as I told you, uh, uh, sir have already uh, introduced me, myself, Virin Singh Shaktawat. Uh, uh, as I told you, I worked before this 18 years with Birla's wherein even uh, I was heading logistics only, but it was fertilizer logistics, copper logistics, byproduct uh, handling, precious metal handling and all. So it was good journey of uh, around 18 years with the Birla's and after that I am also part of this glorious uh, organization for almost 17 plus years. Uh, as sir told, when we started our journey in uh, Adani, uh, we, I was having very, very small team of 5-7 members. We were doing 5-6 million ton of coal only. And uh, as uh, shared by sir, we have reached now more than 70 million ton of uh, coal annually in our uh, imported coal business only. So, oh, Let's, let, let it be connected, then I will explain you about, because now I am not uh, uh, confined, my area of operation is not only confined to ICM business, I am the, uh, now heading shipping and logistics for complete NR business. NR is basically natural resource business. And uh, uh, the, we have, uh, the way we have grown in Adani, really, uh, it was parallel growth. <laughs> for me as well as a group, so that, that is a good part uh, when you see growing uh, your organization and uh, you, you yourself also grows. So that gives different kind of pleasure. And best part of Adani is, since I always appreciate working with the Birlas as well, uh, Birlas also is one of the good organization, but after joining Adani, I find that the way we work, the way we take the decisions, the courage we have, it is entirely different. Any decision, and uh, you know, 
timely decision is uh, always better than the or no decision uh, means if you are not taking timely decision then uh, you may or might lose good opportunities as well sometimes so that is how in adani's culture wherein very fast decision making uh, completely empowerment to uh, all employees so and culture is to promote the uh, innovation that is the best part which i believe i, I, I have learned and i, I keep on um, telling my team members or I, we expect from our team members they should be always innovative so that is good thing yeah while i am connected i think you can also brief them about okay. Ha, uh, correct, correct. So I, I will just explain you as I told you. Uh, see, uh, uh, our Adani is. Uh, I am the uh, part uh, part of one of the vertical which is NR business. But we have a uh, lot many other businesses. Port is one of the largest vertical. We have uh, um, airport is there. Our power is one of the uh, largest vertical where we we are the. Uh, uh, largest power pro pro power producer we are into solar we are into wind we are into uh, thermal thermal is the our oldest one and uh, earlier uh, days we we used to have a vision 2020 as a group wherein we uh, yeah. so this is like as i have already told about myself uh, now uh, first first of all I, i would just uh, uh, like to take you through the um, shipping and logistics as a as a uh, overall perspective of shipping and logistics uh, since i am involved into uh, this so i will i will just uh, give little bit overview about the uh, this industry and we'll come to uh, our adani business wherein i believe you are going to um, take away very good learnings uh, how we work what are the processes systems we are adopting and all so you know uh, shipping is of course it is a uh, one of the um, major uh, player of transportation or volume uh, voluminous business always it's being done by um, waterways only or sh ships only around more than 80% volume internationally being moved uh, by ships only around 90000 vessels are plying across the various co cost uh, uh, means sea routes so this is the one of the very very cost effective and important segment of our supply chain uh, management uh, now uh, this complete uh, as you you are aware that logistics is the basically um, it's not only uh, mo uh, material movement it is a kindly kind of planning and uh, executing the uh, transportation of goods from one point one point to other point in very timely and cost effective way so oh, that is there and of course it is the uh, backbone of the all the uh, industries uh, any industries you take uh, logistics is the going to be integral part of all the activities uh, i will give you some of the examples wherein uh, if we are not able to move the cargo uh, be you are producing any number of uh, uh, your tonnages and all and if it is not uh, getting moved then uh, no use many industries get shut because of non movement of the consignments this is one of the uh, major thing which even our uh, uh, indian gdp also they are contributing around 14% uh this transport industries uh at the same time uh, this is also one of the industry wherein uh, there is a good opportunity of employment around 22 million people as of now with the based on the various uh, this uh, are engaged in uh, this industry now now as i told you i i will just take you through uh, with the our nr business nr is basically natural resource business wherein i am i am the responsible for logistics operation of nr business uh, nr business as our uh, glorious past means uh, this our legacy businesses are 
ICM. ICM is basically integrated coal management, which we were talking about. We reached from 7 million to uh, 5 7 million to 70 million ton. Uh, last year, uh, last year was the one of the best year uh, in Adani history for our ICM performance. And uh, see, best part of our group, as uh, I have been telling you, is uh, we always try to find out the opportunity in crisis and that is how this group is evolving uh, with uh, that kind of uh, speed and phase so in icm business uh, though there were a lot of uh, hindrances uh, and uh, issues during covid and all but we try to find out the how best we can take advantage or we can um, anticipate the problem or be proactive and take advantage of those things so traditional groups doesn't think about those things so that is the best part then our one of the business is mdo business mdo basically we are mining development and operators for various state electricity boards our first mdo started uh, for parsa kante which belongs to rajasthan government it is in chhattisgarh wherein our one of mine was the having capacity of 15 million ton and two more mines belong to Rajasthan government only. One is having capacity of seven and another five million. So, and with uh, some um, kind of uh, uh, expansion of these mines, we are going to have a 30 million. But it is presently producing around 16 million ton and next within two year or so, we are going to achieve 30 million ton of volume. We have got our own railway line of 76 kilometer in Parsa which is working very efficiently uh, in comparison to Indian Railway. Uh, we have Presently we have our six operational mines having capacity of around 50 million ton. Uh, in addition to Parsa, we have uh, two mines in uh, Urisa. Uh, Talabira is uh, one of the mines. We have got two mines in the MP. We have got iron ore mines in the Urisa. Kurmitar is uh, one of the mines. Uh, so that way 50 million as of now we are uh, producing and our target is to uh, reach to 200 million ton in coming days. So that is how our MDO business. Now uh, our emerging business as I told you our uh, commercial mining. Um, in addition to this MDO operation we are also going for commercial mining. We already won the uh, few of the projects uh, through tendering uh, process and uh, soon it, these are going to be operationalized so that way uh, it is one of the uh, going to be major operation uh, we also got our own mines in indonesia which is called as a bunio mines we got australia carmichael mine in australia which is operationalized last year we imported in india at least six seven million ton uh, then uh, we got the cement and aggregates it was part of NR, but now since we have uh, uh, acquired this SEC Ambuja, now it's become a one separate vertical, being a larger. And we have ambition plan. We are going to uh, best part of Adani. Wherever we work, we want to be number one. So as of now, cement we have got around 70 million ton capacity. Just we have acquired Sangi, and our aim is to be number one. So we are going to have uh, our capacity of 140 million ton soon within next five seven years second is ultra tech which presently i believe 115 or so they are producing so uh, that that is it then we have we are into iron ore trading and mining we have bunkering business wherein we are uh, um, uh, uh, giving services of fuel for ships because see best part of adani is we have always see for some synergies we have got our own mines we have got our own shipping lines, we have got our own ports, we have got our own railway lines, we have got our own powerhouses, we have got our own transmission lines, we have got our own distribution channel. So then there, there, it make, makes sense of having synergy. So that way, bunkering is also kind of synergy business wherein we have our own port, we, we import lot of vessels, so bunkering can give us good value addition to us. LPG, ATF is there, uh, as a MDO iron ore, I told Kurmitar is one of, these are the, now already these are all uh, kind of uh, there, 
now upcoming as i told you copper we are, uh, we are going to commence production in uh, feb or march uh, then aluminum we got bits and mining we are aggressively we are going and metal trading again precious metal and all so aggressively we are also going for all these uh, projects uh, as i told you just these are the some of the highlights uh, we are the uh, largest coal trader globally second largest coal trader uh, and market leader in india uh, we 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 are the largest importer of coal from uh, indonesia and south africa and us we are importing in india we are the largest importer from these countries and covering almost 10000 customers smaller in uh, big uh, this electricity boards and all uh, our sourcing uh, also uh, uh, we 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 are doing a kind of sourcing large number of miners we have our uh, kind of uh, long term arrangement and all so always we try that uh, uh, there should not be any kind of uh, jerk in case of something goes adversely so long term arrangement we we keep hedging and we have we keep balance approach with this and we are handling our, around 24 ports in india it is not our adani we as of now adani we are operating uh, around 13 ports um, one of the ports in um, uh, uh, west bengal is going to come up but 13 as of now we are operating and not only we are limiting our operation at adani port we are also working at other government or private ports uh, we are also doing sagar mala project sagar mala is uh, one of the uh, coastal movement within uh, indian uh, this so this is also one of the ambitious plan of our prime minister and uh, we are trying that how we can move we are uh, moving in addition to this 70 million ton we are also moving around 15 17 million ton annually from uh, like east coast to west coast or east coast to east coast from uh, uh, top of the uh, from haldia paradeep and all to uh, chennai and tuticorin all those ports also and from east to west as well so this is how uh, uh, there and this all we are leveraging a lot of uh, technology interventions are there uh, without having technology interventions and automation and all we cannot handle such large volumes now as i told you these are the ports just uh, for your uh, reference purpose these are the ports wherein um, this blue one is the adani ports and uh, those are all non adani ports in the both both the east and west coast uh, now i will just take you through some of the major functions which involve in our logistics uh, uh, activity and especially in shipping functions shipping uh, you know shipping in shipping there are uh, uh, Okay, before this, I will take you through. Uh, I believe you must all be aware, sir. <laughs> sir is an expert in this, but just for repetition, I will just take you through the. Sorry, what? Sorry, well, these are the various type of vessels. Uh, I I believe you must have uh, be knowing, but just uh, for repetition, I will take it. Uh, repeat it. Uh, there are uh, different type of vessel based on the type of cargo they carry, like bulk carrier, container ships. Uh, then tanker ship or uh, some passenger ships or a special purpose ship some of the special consignment whenever requires uh, those are the uh, uh, deployed or being used then naval ships of course it is for especially for uh, uh, their purpose then uh, these ships also bulk ship also there are two kind of ships normally it is a geared and gearless if you talk of geared and gearless is geared is uh, the one uh, who uh, the ship which has their self unloading arrangements uh, gearless now is the which, which doesn't have uh, any arrangement and it requires shore arrangement for unloading so uh, i i remember sir uh, during uh, um, see 7 8 or so we used to handle all geared vessel only geared normally have a smaller size vessels and doesn't support and um, uh, having a cost effective operation 
so we were the first in india to start bringing capsized vessels i will tell you also the uh, uh, what is the type of vessels like these are the based on the um, type uh, uh, cargo carries normally handy supra panamax baby cap and cape vessels um, cape size and new castle and wall max these are the vessels so normally in india we handle up to cape size vessels and this these are the smaller vessel uh, earlier we used to handle mainly supra max and or panamax majorly because panamax vessel requires around 14 14.5 meter of the draft means water uh, level at the berth and panamax again some of the panamax might be the geared one or gearless one so it can be handled that way but big size cap size vessels carries around uh, 1 lakh 60000 ton and uh, they requires around 17 to 18 meter raft uh, so i believe none of the port were having uh, that that kind of da uh, mundra is uh, one of and gradually we started lightening of vessel in mid sea so it makes sense uh, suppose if you see the freight comparison between the smaller vessel and bigger bigger vessel sometimes it is a more than the double so it uh, that is how we uh, we do differently because our competitors normally they handle in very smaller tonnage they use the smaller vessels we 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 being a larger uh, 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 player in this we bring the bigger vessels because we have our customer base is larger customer base we have a flexibility of diverting vessel from one port to other port so we always bring the bigger vessel and we get the advantage of this so this cap size vessel uh, carries 1 lakh 60000 ton, uh, ton cargo even at government ports paradeep and haldia port they requested us their chairman called me to support them we were the first who brought the even cap size vessel at the haldia and paradeep though those ports are not capable of handling cap size vessel what we did is Uh, paradeep uh, we lightened the vessel at other port and uh, with the lesser draft we took it to paradeep to support the port and we are also using there same way haldia it is anchorage port sagar sandhead where through floating crane we are unloading and we took this kind of vessels so that way we are getting good advantage of this uh sorry so Ha huh. now th these are the sh ships now for bringing these ships and uh, uh, or handling this ship there is a certain process first is the nomination as i told you there are different type of vessels which has a uh, different parameters in terms of loa beam draft uh, shore whether it requires shore unloading arrangement or not depending on that only first we have to see if you are loading any vessel at the load port at the same time you need to ensure that you have a adequate arrangement at the uh, your desired discharge port otherwise suppose we loaded the some vessels and if uh, your arrangement is not adequately available at the discharge port uh, you will be in trouble so before uh, nomination and acceptance is the kind of which vessel we wanted to bring from which port whether that port is capable of handling that type of vessel which are the our intended discharge port whether discharge port is having those facilities and um, parameters available once it is uh, done it is very very important exercise which uh, which needs to be done uh, before this so that is done then uh, once it is done then the vessel goes for loading and then uh, one of the important thing is we need to track the vessel since we are handling large of number of vessels so when it is uh, of course normally in shipping terms or shipping industry uh, at load port we have certain kind of uh, uh, your your uh, uh, you have arrangement with the vessel owner to hedge the your exposure we get the lekin lekin is the window of two dates between those dates if you are bringing vessel at the loading point same way we back to back we also have same arrangement with the shipper who, who is the uh, supplier of the coal so if our window is matching with the vessel owner and ship owner we have we are exposure free if it is not matching suppose we have a 
window of 5 to 15 with the vessel owner and same is, is with the um, supplier also then we do not have any exposure but discharge port now nobody takes this responsibility it is our responsibility port whether it is Adani port or other port we have a contractual arrangement wherein they are going to handle our vessel basis their berth availability on first come first serve basis so it becomes very important and uh, damage rate for various <coughs> vessels time to time we keep varying it's it's uh, like anything we uh, sir i believe we have witnessed the damage rate of some of vessel as high as hundred thousand dollar a day nowadays of course it is a, it's varying somewhere in 15 20 thousand dollar but you can imagine that if you are, you, you are uh, vessel waits for a one day what kind of exposure you have so that is there same is uh, that is how uh, you have to monitor your vessels and all for complete voice you need to see where uh, where is your birthing delay and all best part with us is we have a liberty of diverting vessel from one port to other port in case we foresee any abnormal delays so that advantage we have then damage management as i told you this damage rate you must be aware how damage at this phase is worked out so this is also one of the very critical it is not simple mathematics if you go into detail there are a lot of weather delays or non working days and there are contractual conditions with the port with the ship owners all there are, there are very complex and if really in shipping analysis i would say at least in adani uh, i'm happy that uh, with some little efforts and some uh, some uh, kind of uh, uh, proactiveness we are able to save every day lakhs of rupees as i told you if vessel damage is supposed say for even 50000 dollar and you are able to save even 2 hours a day you can imagine how much you can contribute each member of our logistics and shipping team uh, works that way so th this is the damage man management is a one of the very very critical thing late time calculation is a, uh, that is the process of w calculating the damage or dispatch how, how free time allowed and all then as i told you in complete this uh, shipping operation coordination is the one of the major major act important activity wherein we cannot work in silos we have to be uh, sync with the all stakeholders whether it is port or uh, um, with the shipper, with the own, uh, vessel owner, sometimes vessel also gets some delays because of certain things. If it is not aligned with the port, uh, it is going to be problem for you. Now, some of the logistics. Uh, uh, if you talk about our, our complete uh, ICM business, we are actually uh, we are the trader. Uh, as I told you, we are the largest trader and we are serving the fuel need of the majorly to various powerhouses like NTPC. NTPC has a, um, uh, they have man, uh, more than 27, 28 thermal power plants only. And they import 15, 20 million certain, uh, annually even. Uh, same way, uh, similarly, other state electricity boards also importing. So, our our job for these powerhouses is to we have a contract arrangement from uh, sourcing of cargo handling transportation bringing at port discharge port again storage and arranging trans surface transportation whether it is road or rail and delivery of cargo up to their plant with the same quality and quantity this all is responsibility lies with us so in this you need to ensure that how quickly, how efficiently you are storing, timely you are bringing as per schedule, uh, you, you are maintaining quality of the cargo, there should not be any losses, uh, coal being a such a uh, commodity wherein lot of fire threats are there, it, it, some moisture losses happen, so there are a lot, lot many things which, um, which uh, affects our this thing, so we, we need to see that and timely arrangement of transportation again very critical whether it is road or rail a uh, lot of coordinations requires with the uh, uh, road also uh, railways al as well and uh, then sir it is up to uh, 145 what time 145. okay sir right sir so uh, then <coughs> 
in this uh, complete operation you know uh, uh, we are moving with the large tonnage by rail and all road of course there is a um, freight contract and all those are the one time activities wherein also um, see logistics is a very big subject uh, i believe it is uh, too small time to explain and all there are very very critical things and very uh, kind of uh, um, point focus points in complete operation like transportation and all how how you are negotiating contract how you can add value best part with adani i can say you uh, we pay less than the market rate to our vendors then you will say how how then why why people coming to us and i say people come people uh, prefer us to work with us you know we pay less if others are might be paying say for a rupees a ton per per kilometer or uh, point to point 100 rupees a ton we would be paying 90 rupees or 90 paisa per ton per kilometer but still people are happy to come and join us and uh, they make uh, good money out, uh, even then with the lesser that is how we have been working with the adani for so uh, many years that is what uh, we have a principle there are certain very simple logics ultimately each truckers wanted to have certain revenue per day it is up to you how you are going to pay them whether you want to uh, uh, help them in moving one trip in a day and you want to Pay thousand rupees, or you are helping them to make uh, in the same day two trips a day, and you are paying seven hundred rupees a day, or you are you are able to make three trips in a day, and you are still paying five hundred rupees. So how it is a win-win situation which we do. Uh, I miss to tell you about this, but uh, in our NR or ICM business especially, I am one of the profit center. I means as a head shipping and logistics. i am giving good revenue uh, to organization in terms of my own transport arrangements because one is the contractual arrangement wherein uh, we are uh, uh, contractually we are obliged obligation uh, obligation is with us to deliver the cargo but we also do uh, sell on export basis to many smaller customers so our our responsibility as a organization ceases at the loading of fleet at the port only but what we are doing is at the some of ports like haldia eh, sorry hajira krishna patnam gangavaram wherein large tonnage is being moved by road so wherein people are all customers normally every everybody would be happy if we are able to give them uh, timely services cost effective services Uh, then and um, there, there won't be any kind of uh, um, efforts required from their side, so they will be happy. Even they are ready to pay some extra money. But what we are doing is, we are whatever customers are paying as of now to any of the transporter, we are asking them. So say for you are paying hundred rupees, I I tell them you pay ninety eight rupees to us, and we'll work. same way transporters they are also working uh, they they might be charging 100 rupees from them but they do not have assured business and efficient operation so i ask transporter what what is the your uh, aim to make your money per truck per fleet per day say they they say 1000 rupees i i would say i i will ensure how i will, I, i will make 1200 rupees per day but this instead of 100 rupees ton i am going to pay you 90 rupees a ton i am making our 8 rupees as my margin with a win win situation wherein customer happy transporter happy and i see that with my efficiency how i can see that transporters which were making money uh, say for 1000 rupees a day is now able to make 1200 rupees a day and it is possible with the efficiencies uh, transparency timely payment this all systems we have in place we have very robust system at port as well as in our business wherein we are more concerned about the uh, efficiency of the our stakeholders they should not worry about that our even our 
sometimes if something goes wrong, it goes up to our CEO and those things are being monitored and we try to bring the efficiency. So uh, that way also we, are, we have been doing. So then minimizing losses in these logistics function like uh, we have been uh, mainly say for we are doing around uh, 30, 40 million ton annual we are moving, last tonnage is being moved by rail only. And when any movement is taken by, uh, taken through railway movement, there are few losses. I will tell you uh, in later slides that we are moving more than uh, 6,500 6, rakes annually for our ICM business. Same is with our, I have covered our imported coal business only. Mining also we are moving around 7,000 rakes. So when you are, mo and we are t uh, paying around 7,000 crore rupees uh, railway freight in our ICM and same is almost similar volume as of now, value is the uh, mining. So in railway, you know, there are, as per railway rules, you have to load the rakes as per the permissible carrying capacity of wagons. Say wagon capacity is 68 ton, if you are able to load 68 ton exactly, it's okay. But practically it is not possible to load bulk cargo with such a volume in exact tonnage. Uh, if you are loading uh, 64, then 4 ton, you have to pay freight. So that way, 7,001 and normally as an industry practice which we talk, 2-3% uh, variation is normally acceptable throughout the industry. But as per Adani standard, we do not accept those things. You just think of 1% if we are able to bring efficiency in my railway, uh, this freight loss primitive, it is going to contribute how much? 70 crores annually. You know, uh, many small companies doesn't have even turnover or profitability of this. Uh, so in this one segment only as a business, we can, we have an opportunity of making such a huge money. Same is the transit losses from one point to, to uh, what we are loading at port and what we are delivering at the powerhouse. If there is a, uh, uh, any loss in between, it could be by weight variation or in transit pill phrase or anything. But we need to have uh, some good mechanism where we can, we can reduce or limit these losses. These are very, very huge exposure when you are working with such large tonnage. So these are the major imported important KPIs of the our process. Uh, of, of course, this process flow and coordination with all stakeholders we, 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 we need to have. I, I will give fo more focus on our digitization and all, so that will give you, sorry. Uh, sir, you said that it's not very really easy to uh, measure the capacity when loading the bulk things like coal in a rate. Hmm. So how do you measure to minimize those uh, losses? Correct. There are, there are various ways and means. Normally, um, one is the easiest way is to have a load sale in the loaders, but even that doesn't work because of uh, dusty environment and uh, its uh, surface is not uh, plain, it's uneven, some jerks takes place, so that is also very difficult. So for that also, uh, you know, such bulk commodity, how it is measured? There is a process of volumetric analysis. You must have heard about that volumetric analysis. But again, that, that is very difficult to have a volumetric analysis within a such a short period. You know, railway rakes has to be loaded within given time only. Suppose you are not able to load, then it, 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 you, you are going to attract the damage. This damage is different, railway damage is different. Okay. So, we have, of course, that is what we, we keep doing some, uh, some kind of innovations. So just uh, uh, because there are certain time limitation, otherwise I will give you one of the example how we did. <laughs> so uh, like uh, rightly you said, it is very, very difficult. Uh, now there are few innovation have taken place like Parsa or Mundra. We, we do not incur loss because we have a silo loading wherein Pre weight cargo is being dropped in wagons, and we have a, again correction facility wherein once suppose some extra car, additional cargo or less cargo is loaded, once test weight is done and again uh, it is brought back and it is being corrected. This is one of the way. Second, we are we were the first in our Parsa mine wherein uh, our freight loss punitive annual punitive freight loss used to be around 50 crores rupees. 
what we did now railways also came out with the some of the policies and we were the first who started using or it, uh, uh, we did advocacy and we got it was the uh, sorry so uh, we were able to get the approval to have a pre weight silo weight as a rr weight okay suppose i have to load 68 and then i have set the limit in silo as a 68 we got uh, the system verified by the um, your weights and measure and at the same time with the railways they checked and they approved so now suppose railway says this wagon ca uh, can carry 68 we are able to load exact 68 ton miss it might be few uh, uh, kgs might be different but that way you can imagine that with that small innovation we are able to save crores of rupees so that is how it is done second it is not available at all the ports then wherever the other facilities where we bring back and we correct third is where even like Paradeep port where we have a weighing system uh, 10 kilometers away from the port facility then we are doing some uh, very quick volumetric uh, assessment process this is a different i believe no one has adopted this practice other than the adani wherein we have very set uh, sop you know what is the volume of wagon it is mentioned on all the wagons then cargo of course across the length cargo density also keeps varying so we have very quick uh, um, process of ascertaining the density for volumetric assessment what you need volume plus density then you will be able to know the uh, exact weight so we have certain quick method of ascertaining like we have got some boxes and weighing a scale at all the length and we at regular means every 15 20 meters or 50 meters we are taking the cargo and ascertaining the density and volume we know the volume of the wagon we have some ready reckoner charts if this is the volume this is the density what level of cargo is required to put above the brim level you know then again how you are going to measure the brim level again those your uh, traditional uh, surveyor and all they will go they will first have a one meter complete uh, tap and they will find out the, what are the uh, blank space and then they will calculate so one wagon will take hours to calculate and we have to load in three so what we did is we made some uh, kind of uh, gauges one gauge means there are two poles having some marks one bamboo is there suppose i have to load three centimeters or five centimeter above the brim they put on the both the brims they set the three centimeter two person they will take uh, uh, from front to back within within a minute you are we will be able to know whether where, where we have loaded less or more so this kind of innovation this is uh, nowhere mentioned in any process but this is kind of innovation we did so that is your answer okay uh, hope you got answer yeah uh, then uh, these are the our our uh, internal external customers marketing of course logistics is the service provider uh, for mar marketing they get the order and uh, it is our obligation to uh, uh, execute those orders with completely within time frame and with uh, complete our efficiency uh, planning is very very important uh, which which is the chain between sourcing and all and we also integral part of planning because we have to see that uh, whatever facilities are available um, or uh, when they are planning the vessel uh, uh, how is going to be our port congestion which ports we have a rake availability or not which are the most competitive ports so there are a lot many things our team keep doing uh, finance of course everywhere it is involved we need when we incur the or we are uh, paying thousands of crores so we have to have uh, this is railway freight only you talk about the handling charges customs and also you, um, last year our our icm business turnover was 70000 crores i am talking about my business only or not my complete nr business it is icm only 
so that that kind of this thing commercial operation and all of course commercial uh, they issue do and all and custom and all they they do railways of course one of the important segment wherein we need to have a very very close coordination and when i uh, talk about coordination you, you you people are familiar with the railway organization structure yes. <coughs> huh okay na how there are three layer na from board zone and division then local railways so uh, we we need to have a interaction even up to railway board with member traffic addition member traffic even zone railways with the com gm and com and cftm all at division level with the drams and all since being in adani and being the largest customer i have a privilege of uh, this railway officers even member traffic used to call us so that is the best part uh, because we are the one of the biggest customer for them so railway of course then ports as i uh, beginning i told that we used to interact with sir also we we do our contract management with our own with icm only it it is not being done by tcd or all now this is one of the very very important slide uh, as i told you uh, we have been doing such a large volume uh, in next slide i will show you the what what okay i will take first that those thing we are working on 24 into 7 at 20 around 20 ports uh, handling over around 500 ships annually uh, we are handling around 50 million ton of coal we are uh, uh, dispatching as well as 15 it might not be 100% by road from at least from port we are loading this kind of uh, tonnage and we are able to maintain the our operational efficiency when i told you whether it is freight loss punitive even our damage cost these are the three major uh, exposure area where we have very focused approach how we are doing we just i will uh, i will explain you so with these kind of uh, volumes how we are able to manage it is not practically possible to have a traditional uh, way of working you know in logistics i used to say um, i i am not working for last many years and i want my team also to don't work we have a very good system process driven control actually uh, you know uh, shipping and logistics is a such a function wherein i believe still we we could not find any standard solution okay wherein uh, you can get plug and play system so when it is not available then we will not remain uh, sitting there and will wait someone to come and develop and give us solution so what actually we did uh, and that that is possible in i believe in adani only we cannot have this kind of uh, things in uh, other area so i requested our promoters uh, we wanted to and it's around 10 years ago sir we do not have any kind of this system still i am struggling if i can get standard system but could not get but we have wonderful system which is we got in house developed on sap platform it is called as a our we given name as a ytt system we, that system is supporting us in having all these things it is completely sap control system it is all the activities right from vessel sailing or vessel when it is reaches to load port then subsequently when vessel is uh, arriving at discharge port how is ha being handled uh, how it is uh, being loaded and till cargo delivers at customer plant each steps are being tracked and monitored live through system so our and uh, there is no duplication in process we have uh, that we don't want that same thing is being done by the other persons one person once if any operation have taken place any activity has taken place it is being recorded by one and there there, there should not be any repetition or duplication once it is entered then it is accessible and it will move to next level so that way we did uh, 
as I told you, digital, digital operation live updates means control and update is available. Then these are the real time alerts on inefficiencies. When I am talking to you that we are moving six, seven thousand rakes, we are moving five thousand, uh, five more than five hundred vessels. Now what we have a process control through system is suppose my one vessel is uh, coming from Indonesia or Australia and uh, it is coming to Mundra port. So, uh, what we have process is even vessel sales from Indonesia to West Coast normally it takes 14-15 days, US it takes more, more than around 40 days or so. So, uh, depending on that and uh, vessel owner also gives, we have certain uh, uh, these websites also where we get, we can track the vessel and all. But with our own system, our system, the moment vessel sails from load port, what is going to be expected time of arrival at the port? Suppose today is 28th, one vessel is sailing today, she is going to reach at uh, Mundra on 5th of January. Then what is going to be status at 5th at Mundra? Based on that, our team sitting at the Mundra will update the in system if on 5th vessel is coming, uh, based on other uh, vessels she is going to incur two days or one days or on arrival birthing, he will update. Then my system will give auto mail to all every day to planning, to commercial, to marketing that these are the vessels and uh, that if birthing delay is with this uh, beyond certain fixed norms. Then system will give auto mail to all. These are the vessels expected on these, these days are going to incur so many days delays. It is nowhere manual intervention, system throws a mail. So what uh, as a logistics I can do, I, I have to first to alert everyone for inefficiencies and losses, likely losses. Based on that, wherever we, we have an opportunity of taking corrective action, immediately corrective actions are taken. Though in business there are certain compulsion if we are not able, but it is all known loss at least. So our system works that way. Same way, Suppose uh, rakes are being loaded, when we are loading, even we have loaded more than 50 rakes in a day. So when 50 rakes then uh, my, my, myself or my AVP logistics or uh, shipping head or th those person cannot uh, track uh, uh, rake to rake. So the moment we have a system when rakes are being up placed, uh, uh, when loading completed, when rake moves, when rake reaches the plant and how, how much quantity to be loaded what actually loaded, what is the freight loss and all. The moment activity uh, happens, it is being updated in system. System evaluates keep what was supposed to load, what actually loaded and next day uh, exceptions or abnormal cases highlighted will throw a mail to all concerns. It comes to me also. So people know I am also watching, so everybody will be on tour to make those things correct. Otherwise, 50 rakes I am moving every day and if weekly I am going to review, it is, it is going to be disaster. Normally, it, in other organization I have seen people um, are not so, um, so live or uh, attentive on those things. So we have that kind of system. Same way transit losses, what I have loaded here, what is being uh, received at power plant, if there is a difference is more than certain tonnage, our system every day throws a auto alerts. So these all uh, things are being captured through system, auto alerts are there, real time uh, monitoring there. We have live dashboard, SAP driven live dashboard wherein uh, I can see how many vessels we have brought, how many uh, likely to come, what, which are vessel waiting, which are completed, what is the birth performance. Not only, only our Adani, even Paradip port, which are the births, giving what productivity we are able to give through our system. So, is the automation system started since the beginning or it's been started? Uh, we started operation like, it, it is uh, since 2010 or so we have started adopting. Now gradually we are further enhancing, but uh, it's not li like we started in day or two. In, in 2005-06, we were doing 6-7 million ton, gradually 6-7 to 15, 15 to 20, 20, 30, 40. So uh, that time itself, even 6-7 million ton annual volume is also uh, quite uh, reasonable volume, wherein 
we need system process. So it is in-house development on SAP platform. It is linked with our standard SAP as well. So, sorry. Then, second thing what we did is, we have digitized all our documents also. Digital storage of all documents. Suppose Vassal is being uh, handled and SOAP is one of the important document. I wanted to see SOAP. First thing I want to share the SOAP with the, our, our, our uh, uh, other counterparts. I need not to do. Because we, we stored all such documents whether it, uh, with, whether it is SOAP, railway receipts, uh, other uh, important communications related to particular vessel and all these all are uploaded with the respective ID suppose if anybody asked me I wanted to uh, see the uh, uh, SOF 8 years ago for, for this particular vessel it is a few seconds away any so suppose you ask that uh, we have, you have dispatched Dadri uh, one rake uh, during 2014 and I want to see uh, their women sheet at plant and railway receipt of that rake. It is few seconds away. When you know Dadri then month, there are various cr criteria through which you can always uh, trace back. Just click, you open the document, it is available. So that is why we, we say that we, we, we don't want to work, we, we believe on process system. So this, this is the key takeaway for logistics professional, especially I believe uh, I enjoy working in logistics, so this is my passion and you have to have that way. I always share more with my team member here, logistics is the sum of the department, normally we see marketing always they be as uh, being treated as uh, the one one of the good job and all. Of course, ev every function has uh, their own this thing. But logistics has good good opportunities. Many people see our logistics. We do what we do. There is no value addition. Kuch, uh, bahut charming job nahi. But I feel this is the very very challenging and the job where you have a lot of potential to perform and uh, show the organization. So th this way it is complete operation being carried. As a base part, since uh, this complete NR umbrella is with me, we have developed this system for our shipping and logistics. When mining, first project we started in 2011-12, Parsa, wherein our own railway line is there, we replicated same system to Parsa also, wherein railway rakes and all being moved, na, to uska sara, even our, we have our own 76 kilometer railway line. So, once Gautam Bhai came there and he asked me ki, uh, achha, sorry, five years we moved uh, around 25 million ton of coal from Parsa mine to 80 kilo, 85 kilometers one railhead Kamalpur in uh, near uh, Ambikapur. Without any loss, almost negligible loss. So that was really and it was appreciated by chairman and when he came there then he wanted to see the how what are the system processes you are adopting we had a wonderful system even each truck moving from mine and as i initial at beginning itself I, as i told you how you can give the uh, advantage or we, you can have a win-win situation with the, your vendors so that that is the one of the example where in parsa we demonstrated wherein market rate was when we went to market it was asked we, we 100 rupees is going to say for just hypothetically 100 rupees no one can work below 100 and we got five years work done with the 50 rupees a ton and transporters were happy they did not ask for any increase for five years so we had a wonderful system controlling system driven control quick by a scanner itself document will generate by one click LR and uh, DC and all things will be generated. A very controlled process as well. Sealing and all SAP driven, CCTV cameras and all. So we made the life easier for all our stakeholders. Agar chori hoti hai, to ultimately we, we penalize transporter, but we supported them ki how their, their this kind of incidents can be prevented. 
तो उस तरीके से वी डीड एंड ये पाँच मिलियन का करने के बाद आवर ओन रेलवे देन चेयरमैन केम देयर एंड ही आस्क यू आर वेन यू आर हैविंग सच ए वंडरफुल सिस्टम नाउ यू आर स्टार्टिंग बाई रेलवे रेक्स इन टू थाउजेंड सेवनटीन देन ही आस्क मी वाई वाई यू कैन नॉट हैव ए सेम कंट्रोल विद एटलीस्ट विजिबिलिटी विद द रेलवेज सो वी कीप डूइंग सम इनोवेशन वट आई डिड सिंस वी वर वर्किंग इन वी अप्लाइड दिस सिस्टम इन रोड वेर इन सेवन एट हंड्रेड फ्लीट्स यूज टू मूव एवरी डे वट आई डिड सेम जी पी एस वेंडर आई आस यर यू मे पॉल द अवर सेवन एट पोर्ट दिस रेलवे स्टेशन पार्ट्स आर टू अवर नियरेस्ट रेलवे नेटवर्क साइडिंग एंड Uh, we will start putting our GPS on the railway rails as well. With one lock and key, we started putting our own GPS. So we had a wonderful system wherein, like live dashboard, wherein I, I was sitting in Gurgaon. We used to see how many rails, where are they are moving, where they stopped, if they are stopping more than 20 minutes. Uh, let's go to our uh, site head and all. So uh, everything is possible. How? you you can make yourself as a creative so that way these are the all good things are there uh, now sorry so what are, what are your thoughts about uh, integrating this with artificial intelligence with artificial intelligence yes yes ai can be done now now we are working now see best part uh, sir must be aware uh, our all uh, senior leadership team of adani group we all under have undergone five days digital transformation training one siddharth uh, balkrishnan is the faculty who is a very renowned faculty uh, so all senior leadership uh, we took five days five four five days ago only our fifth day wherein um, and even all our colleagues are uh, going uh, through this training and lot of ai and uh, ml being adopt see digitization we should not directly jump into ki yahan hame ai ml hi chahiye at least you should have first you need to have a data yaar ai ml how uh, ai and ml will work what is the best first you need to have a data by saying ai ml we cannot work how this amazon and this all working google and all they how use database so you at least in our uh, when we we discuss about our business and all i was very happy that at least we have lot many datas where we can have rightly you said yes we are going to have ai ml first for predictive modeling of the uh, huh? no demand and all marketing aspect yaar mera to unko supply karne ka kaam hai sorry <laughs> so my job is ki yaar mai through predictive modeling how i can see jaise maine aapko bola na jahaz ka we are handling 500 vessels you just assume if my average delay of one vessel is even one day it, sometime it goes on 2 3 5 days one day if i have a damage rate of 25000 dollar 25000 into 500 kitna hua ha huh? 125. ओके okay. ये एक एक दिन का डिले हो गया है इत, इतना लॉस हो रहा है और इफ आई कैन सेव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट माई प्री बर्थिंग डिलेज एंड वेयर आई आई एम नॉट एबल टू थिंग्स आर नॉट विद इन माई कंट्रोल फॉर द पोर्ट्स कि उनका किन किन विच आर द अदर कस्टमर्स ब्रिंगिंग देयर माई ओन वसल्स माइट गेट डिले सो ए आई इज इज गोइंग टू वर्क and support me how i am uh, i will be able to uh, use ai ml and able to know before vessel sails from load port through simulation model and ai ml maine bola mera ye vessel main mundra le jata hu whether i have customer requirement or not what is going to be pre-breathing delay how is going to be uh, voyage condition uh, considering uh, your environmental condition and all and can give me yes if you are taking at mundra she is going to incur two days delay or no delay suppose mundra is i am uh, seeing five days delay what what is the other port option available whether it is feasible cost wise to cater that customer or not so that we are undergoing that project already we are working on so good 
what we are doing you could you could <laughs> see that same way uh, we are also going for um, this kind of uh, using ai ml uh, for our uh, transit loss uh, identification transit loss is a such a problem sir wherein everybody is puts on others because there are three stakeholder two stakeholder one is the port port where it is being loaded other is a customer plant customer will say it is a port problem port will say it is customer and when uh, we are able to uh, justify something they will say something gone in uh, went wrong in route so there, that is the easiest way of doing this though we have as of now also we have certain mechanism through which our sap is supporting because we are recording tear weight gross weight you you are aware about tear gross and all na okay so tear gross speed and all so we can compare what is the uh, loading point gross tear unloading point gross because sometimes they do not unload completely uh, because uh, it is not their accountability and they put all uh, blame on us so of course logistics is a such department where in uh, uh you are basically all responsibility lies with you but uh, there are different stakeholders so we need to have a very robust system process wherein you should be able to uh, establish the real cause of the problem wo ho gaya fir koi aapko nahi kar sakta hai isn't it aapko if uh, if you are able to just uh, matlab prove ke yaar where is it went wrong no issue so that way there also we are using these are some of the highlights already i have uh, shared with you we have uh, in a single day we will dispatch around 2 lakh ton in icm business 41 rigs uh, 5 million ton in a one month itself we have handled that is the capacity we have we have very good re reward recognized system in our team every month we recognize any extra efforts done by the team Uh, we encourage uh, our team to do something new any silly idea if they come out with that it is being appreciated and we wanted our team members uh, and especially i have practice or i always say the way you are working today if you are working similar way tomorrow you are deteriorating you need to evolve some some new process and some improvisation has to be there otherwise this is this is the basic principle of life one should have okay then uh, other than this also one of the this yms is actually yard management system this is also one of new digital initiative we have taken sir wherein we we bring the uh, different grades of coal and different grades means the uh, quality of one grade and other grade is a huge gap one grade of low low indonesian coal might cost 100 rupees whereas one of the good south african high high grade coal might be costing 300 rupees so this is a one of the exposure wherein we have to have we don't we cannot believe on uh, our team of course if you see our team member we have more than 200 members in our team in icm only and the same way we have uh, around uh, um 150 members in our mining business in logistics itself we have very good team because we are operating so many ports it requires physical control as well but still we wanted to have a system driven if somebody intentionally 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 uh, loads wrong car grade of cargo in truck it should be system should tell us so that is how we think and we are trying to do just to we want to make it life easier for everyone um, with this kind of uh, innovation and technology driven controls so this is how uh, just uh, this is our uh, structure wherein we have had logistics had shipping and then cluster and then port in charge and that so total uh, around two total 200 members we got here so this okay So, any question, answer, or if uh, you would like to anything, yeah, please. So, like in global platforms, we as a country are projecting to shift towards a more sustainable source of energy. Then, how do you see your coal business in long term? See, uh, yes, as a uh, it is there, and uh, in fact, we have been hearing uh, 
for last uh, five seven years uh, with the um, evolving this your uh, renewable and all <laughs> but basis our uh, uh, this uh, assumption and what we uh, seeing uh, I believe next five seven years coal is going to remain with the same manner the, because uh, this uh, energy demand is increasing day by day we are not able to have that level of this so at least next even uh, your ministry of coal power and all they all also predicted keep next five ten years it is in between it happened see again it's all depend on the how is our industrial uh, growth you see uh, even three four years around four years back we were uh, handling uh, hardly 25 30 million ton it came down suddenly but again uh, when uh, this growth have industrial growth have taken place and um, the, the way we are growing now we are hopeful the uh, further we grow we will not be able to um, match the demand with the all renewable sources of course we are also as adani also we had a vision 20 during vision 2020 we thought of having 20000 megawatt power generation through thermal power but we are uh, restricted at uh, somewhere around 12 13 uh, thousand megawatt only we have switched over to other solar and wind and all so it is going to remain yes at least next 10 years going forward yes of course our ultimately uh, vision and uh, it is going to happen but it will take at least a 10 years that is what i also personally feel anybody else Chale, thank you. Thank you. Good. Wish you luck. Right. Before you go, uh, if everyone wants to take a picture, and before that picture, uh, <coughs> Abhi Mundra me kon hai? Apna. Abhi sir. Ilish ta Abhi kon? Ne Ilish just got retired sir. Abhi hamara current kar ke ek ladka hai sir. Okay. So, so I will ask him. Ha. He will be part of so your. Uh, all the all the. Ha, you can, you can, if you are, sir, we were saying uh, ki, you are planning to go Mundra, so at least you please visit to Westport as well, how coal is being handled, how different go, uh, grades of coal and all. Uh, I will also ask my in charge, uh, I, I will give you a number, sir. Yeah. So he will be in touch. Uh, copper also would be in the way only. I am also taking care of copper level 6. So, but copper is, since it is a project stage, it will not help you to go there, but at least you can see. We are going to have 5 million ton copper plant uh, going to commission soon. It is commissioned or sir, it is? No, in Feb, uh, March it is going to commission. At least uh, CCR and refinery will be operationalized by Feb end. Okay, big round Good. of applause. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.